I promise this video is going to be beginner friendly. So even if you've never mastered before, you'll be sure to learn something that will help you get really good masters, whether you're using stock plugins or third party plugins. Because I'm going to make a comparison. I'll be using FL Studio stock plugins, then also use third party quote unquote premium plugins. And you get to see which sounds better. But I do believe you can get decent results with either option. So if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is link your track to the mixer. You don't really need to set your tempo because we're not applying any time-based effects like reverb, delay, okay? We're just applying dynamic and filter-based processing, okay? So we're going to listen out for the loudest part, typically the chorus. I recommend you go to the most dynamic part of the song, which is, again, typically the chorus. So tight, so tight. We to come to fruity parametric EQ, and then we're going to take out some low end so we can get more headroom because this song sounds like it's super bass heavy. And typically, don't take out between 20 to 35 or even 40 hertz. Now, this depends, it's just a range, okay? So, we need to come right here, come to type high pass steep 8, and make sure you turn on linear phase mode on, okay? When is at 30 hertz, hear high sounds. When it's on, for every single moment, you were there by my side, my side, my side. But if you still want to cut out some more, maybe you're still trying to squeeze out some more loudness out of it, you can take it to about 35 or 40 hertz. But most times, 30 hertz each range is a good place to be at. For every single moment, you were there by my side, my side. Another thing we can do with the EQ is add some brightness to the master as if you want some brightness or you can make it sound dull if you feel like it's too bright or too harsh, okay? If you want it to be brighter, you'll have to just boost this 6K around this 6K-ish range up. Now, how much should you boost or cut? I recommend between 1 to 3 dB of change, okay? So if you are boosting between plus 1 to plus 3 dB, if you are cutting minus 1 to minus 3 dB, okay? And if you hear that the mid frequencies is too out there, like too forward, you can push it in by coming to this mid range right here and docking a little bit. You can pinch a little bit in. I'm going to come right here. Just use your mouse wheel and roll it a little bit. You can pinch some in. If you want your mids to come out some more, you can boost a little bit again between plus one to three dB. So let's do a little bit of deep right here and here I sound. When I boost it, for every single moment, you were there by my side, my side, my side. I wanna be. So now it's sounding a bit honky, a bit nasally. I don't want that. So I'm going to just do a little bit of cuts. Now, if I turn off the EQ, let's hear it sound without the EQ. For every single moment, you were there by my side, my side, my side. I wanna be in your light until the night is on. Then next, when the EQ is on. You can hear that it sounds more open and a bit brighter, okay? Now, you don't have to make it this bright. It's all up to you to decide what you want for your master. So, the next step is some stereo enhancement to make it sound wider because a lot of modern mixes and masters sound a bit wide. So, I'll click the stereo enhancer, fruity stereo enhancer from FL Studio. So, all I have to do is just widen it up a little bit. Now, be careful here. You don't want to make it too wide. So, I'm going to take it to about 30% wideness at most. And I may even reduce it if I think it's too much. So, if I come right here, let's hear it sound. My next we're going to do is use fruity limiter. I'm going to come right here to fruity limiter and I'm going to make it louder. Okay. So I'm going to come to gain, take it up, come to ceiling, take it up as well. Okay. And before we press play, we're going to load up a free plugin. It's totally free. Um, Yulin loudness meter. You can get it online. Just Google search or look, look it up online. Yulin loudness meter is free. This is the free version. It's going to tell you the loudness levels. Now you want to gauge between minus eight to minus 12 LUFS. Now there's some argument here on how loud it should be, but you can get away with even minus six. I've seen people get to minus six, minus seven LUFS, but 
Personally, I like to master within minus 8 to minus 12 LUFS. And then the true pick marks typically should just be in the negative most of the time. Now, these numbers may exceed or fall short sometimes, but most of the time should be within this range. You want your true pick marks to be in the negative most times. So I may say minus 1 or, you know, give you a certain number. But again, I've seen a lot of professional mixes and masters exceed these numbers and still win awards. So what matters is making sure that you understand what you're trying to achieve and, you know, just follow this range I'm giving, okay? Again, these ranges are not rules, they are just a guide, okay? Mm -hmm. So when I press play, I'm going to put these two side by side because we need to go back and forth between them. Then I'm going to come right here, come right here, perfect. So I'm going to press play and watch the integrated loudness. Remember, I already boost this guy, right? For every single moment, you were there by my side. So you can see it's currently at minus 13 and it's currently at minus 2.3. So let's boost the gain. If you want to get a higher LUFS, we're going to need to boost the gain up. For every single moment, you were there by my side, my side, my side. I want to be in your life until the night is over. When I hold you so tight, so tight, call me close up. Now the ceiling is what's going to control the troop max because it's going to like cut the peaks. If you see this ceiling right here, you can see that it's cutting out the peaks. But you don't want to overdo it, it will sound squashed and it will lose a lot of dynamics. You have to be careful on how you do that. For every single moment, you were there by my side. Relax it a little bit. For every single moment, you were there by my side, my side. And just like that, you know, we've achieved that, you can see minus 10 LUFS and we are at a safe uh, minus 1 dB through peak max. I've seen people get minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.2. You know, as long as you're in the negative most of the time, you know, you should be fine, okay? So before going any further, I want to let you know that you can sign up for an online mixing and mastering course where you learn how to mix and master professionally using FL Studio. All you have to do is click the link in the description of this video or visit our website, sctutorials.com, and you sign up for our online certification courses. Yes, it's 100% online, and you also earn a certification when you successfully complete the course. And the course also gets lifetime free updates so long as the course stays on the website. So whenever there's something new or something exciting that we learn, we're going to update the course at no extra cost to you. So let's get back to the video. So now I'm going to use third-party plugins, my favorite third-party plugins to master this song. And the key I'll be using will be Ozone EQ. So I'm going to come right here to. So the first I'm going to do, create some bands, some notches along the way, change it to a high pass. Then I can move it around between 20 hertz. Again, I'm going to take it to about 33 hertz. Yeah, I need a little bit of brightness. Same thing, the gain between minus one to minus three dB. So then for the mids. Right, so we've done that. The next thing I'm going to apply is CLA76 compressor. This is just to add a little bit of analog texture to it. But I'm not going to like do a serious compression. It's going to be very mild. I just want to run through it so I can hear a little bit of the character of this compressor. And I'm going to be using the bluey because it's more aggressive. So I'm going to press play and I don't want it to cross minus one to minus two dB of gain reduction. It should just be like very faint compression. So I'm going to reduce this. And make sure you gain match the output. Now for stereo enhancement, I'll be using Isotope Imager. And it's still easy to use, just create your bands. And then you're going to let it learn. Be in your life, the night 
night is over When I hold you so tight, so tight, call me closer so one of my favorite presets in here is called the modern width. I like using that. And sometimes I also like using multi-band depth. So let me use modern width, but I'm going to tweak it a little bit. So I'm going to come to the high mid, spread it out a little bit more, and then the low mid, focus it some more. And then to make it louder, I'm going to use Fab Filter Pro L. But again, I'm going to also load up Ulin Loudness Meter. And this is one of the easiest limiters you can use. All you have to do is just adjust this. Or you can click this advanced button so it's in more advanced mode. Okay. So I'm going to increase this. So after using this limiter, you can notice that our true peak max is at positive rather than negative, and we can easily fix that. So I'm going to, just before the Yulin loudness meter, I'm going to add a second limiter, that's fruity limiter, you can add fruity limiter, and I'm just going to use the ceiling to control that. Wanna be in your life, the night is over. When I hold you so tight, so tight, call me closer. Been a long ride for every single moment. You were there by my side, my side, my side. This is stock plugin mastering. I'll switch between the stock and the third party real fast. I wanna be in your life, front till the night is over. When I hold you so tight, so tight, call me closer. Been a long ride. And so yeah, that's how they sound. Let me know in the comments which sounds better in your opinion. The stock plugin or the third party plugin. Personally, I think the third party plugin sounds better. But let me know in the comments what you think.